Hello, good morning, happy Friday. Thank you so much for joining me for another Saints and Angels Oracle deck uh, card reading for the week to come. I am trying to do this video very quickly this morning um, because I'm back to homeschooling and it's almost 8 in the morning and I like to get school going at least by 9. Oh, this is like a heart. I wish you could see it. I wonder if you can on here. See how it's burning like a heart? In the center here. I always look at the incense when I burn it and see what, when I blow on it, a shape usually speaks forth. Oh, that's beautiful. That's amazing that it distinctly a heart like that. Um... The first time I ever talked about it, or shared it, I guess, and, and to be on camera and everything. But yeah. These sticks are wonderful as well. Um, this is a Palo Santo blend. It's a Sacred Cleansing Negative Energy Sticks by Mark Brzezki. He is such a wonderful healer, amazing man. Uh, such an inspiration and a light in my life. Um, don't know him directly, but he has, you know, a huge impact on my life. I bought him lots of things, lots of crystals from him. These incense I consistently buy because they're the best. Not only do they burn and they are solid and they last, but um, the smell is just fantastic. The effects are amazing. I, I really love them. I consistently have been buying them now since um, 2020, you know. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, <laughs> happy Friday. Today is the 15th. We're halfway through September. We are here at the new moon doing a new thing on Friday for my Saints and Angels card reading. And I just feel the vibe. I feel really good in doing this. Um, I've been in a bit of a kind of a thorn bushy lately. I don't know how to explain it better than feeling like that. Like those burrs in a bush and you fall in them and then they're stuck all over you kind of and it's like everything's just a bit irritating and a bit like uh, just going through the motions is even kind of um, painful or you know nothing's working out right coming to fruition correctly searching for words and ways and mistakes and I'm just clumsy. <laughs> Anyways I'm feeling this, this newer, cleaner, um, freeness coming through out of it and opening up. And, uh, so yeah, new way to start this video today and, um, hope inspiring others as well to allow themselves to find that new freedom for themselves and go for it. Um, the path of least resistance and that feels most you. Um, yeah, so I think that's what the message will be about today. Um, we'll see, of course, I don't want to speak for the cards, ever. Um, of course. <coughs> Excuse me. But here, at the start, as we begin, I think we'll do a quick grounding, and then we'll pull a card for usual. <laughs> I'm going to close my eyes and just do a little walkthrough of sort of a guided meditation for a moment just to get us connected in our heart centers together um, and in an open space of calmness and peace where uh, we're able to really soak in the messages and allow them to, you know, like permeate and pass in so that later the ripples they're causing can, can be felt um, more clearly, I guess. So I welcome you to close your eyes. You don't have to if you don't need to or you're doing something that's okay. This isn't going to be something um, like a hypnosis where you shouldn't be driving, don't worry. <laughs> so let's take a few conscious breaths here to just clear the air. In and out. Clearing the air around us and within us. 
bringing in this newness, new breath, new nutrients. And breathing out all that debris and staleness, all the used up things within. And as you breathe here, try to notice where your breath is going. If it's just landing and sticking in your shoulders and in your neck, like mine is, because I'm feeling rushed. Try to now notice that and breathe all the way down into the depth of your belly. Feel it expanding in your torso and your abdomen down there. And then feel the exhale really rising up and out. Relax. Relax your face and your body. Feel your feet on the ground. Feel how your hands are resting. Feel where your bum meets the ground or your chair. Where your literal base, your root, meets this physical plane. Feel that difference for a moment. Feel how you're sitting. Feel what it is to be you, that boundary, so distinct and readily obvious, and yet there's something secret and mysterious. If you can, the sensations that you're getting from the physical body vessel, wherever it meets that which is different than the self. Sometimes we forget this beautiful boundary of the skin, the epidermis, the dermis. Just feel yours for a moment. Allow your consciousness to just travel the map, the expanse of your universe, the extent of your boundaries, your outer limits. Feel the different terrain it meets. Soft chair beneath your bum. Firmness of the floor. Maybe you're outside and it's beautiful Mother Earth you're sitting on. Is your back resting against something? Or is it magically floating upright? held all around in this etheric soup of infinite intelligence. Let's give thanks right now for your placement, your setting in this reality every different state of matter, of manifestation, of beautiful creation, <laughs> from our beautiful, infinite creator, unimaginable, infinite spectrum of wondrous exploration of manyness, what it could mean. Omnipresent. 
to be the thinker who thought was reality. And yet we are fractals of creator consciousness. Don't forget you think your reality. You are your thoughts. I am my thoughts. So I'm going to give thanks. I hope you could give thanks now for your thoughts, for mine as well, for our beautiful collective consciousness in imagination space where we step into and join each other and sit and share our thoughts first, our frequencies, our hearts. These things that are unspeakable, they are not tangible. And yet, we all feel them and know them. They travel through us all. <laughs> like the wind through instruments, right? <laughs> we are instruments of the Creator. <clears throat> Bring your hands to your heart, if you wish. Perhaps put them in prayer. Maybe give yourself a hug, even if that feels right now. I thank you for taking this time for yourself, for being here with us all. Thank you. this week to come here, September 15, 2023, under our theme of this month, the Empress. I forgot to mention that before, but yes, as a reminder and as a request <laughs> to our beautiful loved ones in spirit, to our ancestors, to the saints and angels, all of those beings of higher frequencies, who witness and also experience, who teach and learn through us here in the now. We thank you for your words of guidance, of advice beforehand. And we ask you to speak to us through this beautiful theme of the Empress that we are working with here in this month of September, 2023. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm going to shuffle for a moment here. Hmm. I'm wondering, I think I will perhaps cut the deck. I'm not sure. I feel one. Actually. <laughs> be able to listen. Thank you for that gift. <laughs> wow. Oh, the light. I'm sorry. It's confidence with St. Michael. Archangel Michael. <laughs> wow. So synchronistic for me. Just a beautiful... Um, real life tidbit is that I saw this this card while I was scrolling through um, Pinterest the other day it just happened to be like on the feed and I thought to myself I haven't seen that card in quite a while or have I have I actually received this card before and I couldn't really remember uh, it, yeah and I was thinking about it so wow <laughs> confidence Angel Michael. And I'm just quickly, as I look up the card here, going to say that meditations with cutting cords with his sword or allowing him or working with him to be able to create your own sword 
to cut entanglements and to um, bestow as well, you know, righteous justice. Uh, wonderful, wonderful workings. And there's so many beautiful people and guides out there who do meditations, even for free right on YouTube, um, that you could explore if that is really resonating with you right now. Um, I just went to the wrong page. <laughs> 25. Archangel Michael is with you, shoring up your confidence so that you can fearlessly and even enjoy the tasks before you. Excuse me, fearlessly face and even enjoy the tasks before you. This Archangel is protecting you against negativity, helping you to remain optimistic and filled with faith and ensuring that only people in situations of high integrity come to you. Wow. Hmm. Have confidence in God's power to keep you safe and secure. As you enter into a new phase in your life, it's natural to feel intimidated by change. You may worry whether you're prepared and qualified for what's ahead of you. Remember though, that God won't bring to you anything that you're not capable to do. Heaven also ensures that you have powerful companions such as Archangel Michael to help you in all ways. Archangels are the overseers of our personal guardian angels. And quickly I'm just reminded and thinking he's the first angel, Archangel, to come forth and be as a message after last week and after I was speaking last week about seeing so many guardian angel cards and about it being about us taking action, our direct work, and how our guardian angels really were speaking to us to let us know that we had the, the skills and all the things to, to work on. And now for this first Archangel to come through and for it to be Archangel Michael with his sword and confidence to just kind of cut us out. And I talked about being in a thorn bush earlier. Oh my gosh, all these things are like... The stars of a constellation connecting, and then Dan, there's Orion, there's Pegasus, you know, there's Andromeda. And yeah, what a message for yourself when you know that story, and then you recognize it in your life, and then you can guide yourself because you know your directionality, because you've seen that star, and you remember where it orients you in your navigation, not just the story, but also where to go. Oh. These are like personal, beautiful metaphors. We're so having wonderful connections right now. <laughs> I'm so happy to have this actually recorded as well. Um, anyways, let me finish reading. Side notes to self. <laughs> Archangels are the overseers of our personal guardian angels. And Michael's name means he who is like God. He's described in both biblical testaments as a prince and depicted as fighting against lower energy in order to protect us all. Many people report miraculous rescues and protection as a result of calling upon him. And for that reason, he's a patron saint of police officers, security guards, and sailors. Saint Michael the Archangel will help you feel safe and confident if you call upon him. Wow. So, wow. That's a really powerful message for this week. That was wonderful. And as a halfway marker through the month as well, and at the new moon, I just have to say, at the end there, <laughs> obviously, put the pins in it. So, thank you so much for listening and joining me. I hope that you'll catch me next Friday. I hope you have a beautiful weekend, uh, wherever in the world you are. Talk to you next time.